So tonight we're going to learn about the continuation of the Gemara, which we covered a little bit of it today. Because up until now, we spoke about resolving or answering the contradiction that we had between the Beraita that said that one prays Amidah only at sunrise, versus the Mishnah, which says you have a maximum of Tvachatzot, a minimum up to Dalit Sha'ot. And we spoke about how to resolve the contradiction that we're talking about people that are vatikin, who pray early in the morning and run to do mitzvot. But now, I would like to talk about something different, yet similar. Because again in the Mishnah we said, the latest time according to the Mishnah that you can pray, according to Tanakhama is, Tefilat HaShachar Ad Hatzot. So according to that opinion, the latest time is, at noon, that's the latest time you can pray. However, as the Gemara asks over here, Vechule alma ad hasot vetulo. Does everybody agree that the latest time is hatsot vetu lo? And pass that no. Veha amar av mare bere de rav huna bere de ribi ma baraba mar bi yohanan. Didn't this person, Rav Mari, say in the name of Yohanan that if a person, if a person made a mistake and he did not pray Arbit, that person is able to say Shaharit twice. If that is the case, that a person who forgets Arbit, prays Shaharit twice, or forgets Shaharit, he prays Mincha twice, that would seem to say that even after 12 o'clock, a person can pray Shaharit. So you see over here, according to the Mishnah, Mit Rak Ad Chatzot, a person prays until only Chatzot, the latest according to the latest opinion. But according to the Biochanan over here, you can pray Mincha double making up a shaharit, and therefore, in this case, you're praying after 12 o'clock. And that is a problem. So if we go back to the Gemara, we can answer this, similar to what we answered before, that what happens? Ad chatzot, up until chatzot, yehaveleh sechar tefila bizmana. That until chatzot, you get a specific reward for saying tefila in its time, bizmana. Mikan va'elach, but from here on out, after 12 o'clock, schar tefillah yehaveh The person only gets the schar of tefillah. Schar tefillah bizmana la yehaveh But the person does not get the schar of saying tefillah in its time. So if we go back to this chart over here, we can simply fill out. This person gets schar the reward of tefillah bizmana. You get reward of saying tefillah in its time. But this person who's after chatzot, rak only schar tefillah. He only gets the schar of tefillah. So as we saw you today, we were able to resolve another contradiction in the Gemara that showed that until chatzot, you, it is very important to pray before Chatzot. You get Schar Tefillah Bizmana. You get the reward of praying in its time. And here and further, Pes Chatzot, you only get the Schar of Tefillah. You do not, however, receive Schar Tefillah Bizmana of Tefillah in its time.